my channel. My name's Andrea. Um, yeah, sorry about this lighting, but it's just late at night, and I am currently doing DIY t-shirts for um, Disneyland, because we're going to go next week on Wednesday, and um, yeah, I'm just doing it, so I thought I'd share what my steps are and what I'm currently doing, and that way you guys can do that at home, so if you want to watch how I made these DIY t-shirts, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the image that I made. I made this, this is on Word. So um, I'm gonna show you how I did this. So basically you just go to Google or whatever and I just typed in Jack Jack from The Incredibles printable clip art and um, this is what comes up. So I, I chose that one. I just um, right clicked and then it put save image as and then I just saved it on my desktop okay and then I minimized that so um, when you open it it'll be right here okay so I just um, I clicked on open with paint and it'll pop up right here so what you want to do is you want to minimize this so that the image will be smaller like that it'll be easier to crop and stuff and then you just want to open this white part okay so then you go to select so you cut the image you put copy Okay, then you go to Word, and let's just put open a new one so I can show you guys what I did. So we're gonna open a new file, and then you just right click, and you put paste, and that will pop up, check, check. Now, um, for the font, it looks kinda like the Disneyland font. Um, all you gotta do is go back to Google, and you're gonna type in Free, um, what are they called? Fonts. So, I like to use um, this one, the first one that pops up. And then you get all these free ones. So, you could just click download and it'll download it. Um, I believe the one I have, it's called like Walled something. See right here, you can see the Disney one. So it has like the monster sink and all that. So you the Incredibles one and stuff. So all you gotta do is download it and then when you go back into your um word, all you gotta do is um type. So you go to home, you choose your font which mine is called that one Walt Waltograph Walt but I kind of showed you guys how to do the other one and then you just put the size that you want in this case I'm gonna put 200 because I want it big and and then you choose the color for your um for your font so then you just oh what happened here okay so then it's gonna type in logan so it'll show up like that now um, the way i like to do it like if you want to layer you guys saw how i did this right like it says logan and then it has a g in the back because our last name is green so if you want to do that all you gotta do is go here, go to um, the, where it has, it has the A, and you can type. And then you can just put, um, okay, so let's pick the Waltograph one. Oh, actually, it's not the bottom. So, uh, and then let's do black. So I'm gonna put Logan. Okay, 
So Logan. And then, so that's that. And then I'm gonna do another one for the G. And then let's do red for that one. You gotta put a G. Okay. And I'm gonna size this a little bit bigger. So let's go 250. Okay, so now it's big. So what you wanna do is you wanna crop that so you can move it around. And then you go and crop Logan. But when you click here, you put transparent selection. So that way when you move it, you can put it like that. So now that you have it like that, you actually wanna flip the image. So you just put on rotate, flip horizontal, and it'll flip the image for you. So all you gotta do is copy that, go back to Word, Go back to Word. You can actually delete this. It's kind of easier for me, I guess, to do it on paint, to be honest with you. So you just put paste. Oh, I guess it didn't copy it. Just give it one second here. So you put copy. And then paste. Okay, so now it's there. So in order for us to be able to put this all onto one page, you have to resize. So now it's in one page. And you can resize the lettering as well to fit um, what you wanna do. So that's it, and that's how you do it. And then you just print it on a trans uh, heat transfer um, paper. Um, I use this brand here. It's called Jolice, and um, this one is for dark fa dark fabrics. But since I'm doing it on a light T-shirt, which is a white T-shirt, um, there's actually a Jolice for white colors, which I have over there in my um, office. This is about ten bucks at Hobby Lobby, so you can go and get one of those. Um, but yeah, let's, so let's move on to the process. Okay, so moving on to the process of the t-shirt, I have my paper cut out. Um, I just printed it out and cut it out. Um, this is a t-shirt, 12 to 18 months, um, which is what fits my son at the, t at the moment. So just cut it out, put it on top, and then you're gonna start um, ironing. You don't need to have a barrier or anything. You can just iron right on top of that. And just let it cool off and all you got to do at the end is just peel the, uh, the, the paper thing off and then it should be you know the image should be printed on the t-shirt so I will do that off camera and I'll be back okay guys that's it um, I'm done with the project I'm just gonna give you guys a close-up so that's how it looks and yeah that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I hope I explained everything properly. Um, yeah, sorry about the lighting and stuff. It's just late at night. So you guys have an awesome day or night wherever you guys are. And I will see you in my next one.